This video is to demonstrate the side-to-side -side rolling cluster upgrade to 1FS 8.0 from 7.2.x. The scenario is to upgrade both clusters, means the source and the target clusters, to 8.0.x from 7.2.x. And prior to this upgrade, the eyeglass has been configured properly to manage both clusters, including eyeglass access zone and the FS mode failover settings. And the plan is to upgrade both sides by performing upgrade on one side at a time. The plan is to upgrade the target cluster first, and then followed by upgrading the source cluster. Take a look at the demo. Disable the eyeglass jobs temporary for upgrade process. So from this job panel, so we select everything and we disable. Upgrade the target cluster, cluster 08. This upgrade is this simultaneous upgrade, so means all the nodes of this cluster will be rebooted simultaneously. So we confirm we want to do this. Upgrade installed successfully, and now we need to reboot. Okay, so it's back now. Can log in. Okay, we can see from this panel that this cluster has been upgraded to version 8.0.0.1. We have upgraded this target cluster to this uh, 1FS8. So we need to do the following task to let the eyeglass manage the target cluster that now has new 1FS release 8.0.0.1. The eyeglass admin role privileges and we also need to update the pseudo privileges for the eyeglass service account on this target cluster. To update this eyeglass admin role with these two additional privileges. Okay, so we are updating this pseudo privilege to let the eyeglass able to manage the cluster, the target cluster that now is in 1FS8. And the next step that we need to do before we enable the eyeglass job is to restart the SCA, the eyeglass SCA service. The service and then we restarted we also can check the status of this SCA service okay it's running okay and we can take a look at the jobs panel okay and then we can re-enable all these uh, eyeglass jobs. Once jobs have started and completed, we need to verify that the eyeglass status is okay and no error. Okay, we can see that the state of all these jobs are in green color. There's no error. Okay, and we also can verify from the DR dashboard that the policy, the zone, and the DFS readiness also give this a uh, green color. Okay, so we have upgraded the target cluster and we also can verify 
from this inventory view that the target cluster now is already in version 8. We upgrade the source cluster to version 8. So we want to do the failover first. So we want to failover from the source to the target. Okay. All right, we can see here that the failover has been completed successfully. And now we want to take a look at the jobs panel. We will leave it as disabled state. And we want to continue with the upgrade of the source cluster. Now the upgrade and reboot has completed. So when we log into this source cluster, cluster 07, we can see that the one FS version is already in 8.0.0.1. Okay. The iGlass admin role privileges with the additional required permissions. Okay. Okay, so we update this sudo privilege for the iGlass service account. And the next step, before we re-enable all these iGlass jobs, we also need to restart the iGlass SCA service. Stop the SCA service and then we restart this. Okay, from this job panel, now we can re-enable the these are all uh, the user disabled jobs. Okay. We can run or wait till the next replication job has started and completed and after that we can re-verify that all these iGlass status should be in green OK status and no error. Okay. So everything is in green status okay. and we can also verify from this inventory list that now the source cluster has also the 1FS release 8.0.0.1. Hope this short demo give us understanding about the procedure for this site cluster rolling upgrade. For further information, please refer to the iGlass online documentation. Thank you.